woke up, fell out of bed, and then I couldn't fall back asleep. Um, I just want to talk possibly briefly, maybe it won't be so briefly once I'm done with this, but about how there are still many that, that are, through comments that I'm seeing, are saying that, uh, well, well, nobody's saying that, that we, we shouldn't do anything, we shouldn't have social progress. Really? Let's take Gamergate, for instance, okay? Let's look at Gamergate. And yes, I'm sure you all... No, Gamergate is about ethics and gaming journalism. It's a big fucking roll eyes. Big groan from me when people say that. Um, a lot of Gamergate is has been about uh, being upset with those that want to give game designers advice on things other than uh, gameplay, physics, and graphics. If it's anything to do with social anything, social issues at all, they have their they have their their hands full enough already, and they're they're you know they they shouldn't be have their the types of games they make dictated. And I'm like, well, you don't complain when people talk about the graphics that are in the games. You don't complain when people talk about the physics that are in games. But how dare someone talk about something that has to do with social issues? You know, say, oh, I'm so upset because someone said there should be more women in games. Oh, I'm so upset because people are saying more gay people should be in games, or more transsexual people should be in games, transgendered people should be in games. Oh, I'm so upset because you said that. But they have no problem with, with anything that has, that the, any, any other element of games, they have no problem with complaints about. Then when you do pulling of teeth to try to get just just to try to get them to say, well, well, I'm not against uh, gay characters being in games. Yeah, but you're against, but they're against people saying they want more gay people in games. Get my drift a little bit here. Um, let me see some other things that I had said in some other responses. Okay, let's take the issue of the. Uh, uh, there's this girl who got body slammed by uh, a police officer uh, in public schools because she wasn't obeying orders. She should have done what she was told. You know, let's let's not talk about um, that the way the officer responded was really inappropriate. There was there was no reason why he had to go to those extremes. He didn't have to fucking body slam her in her desk. Now, was it a racial issue? Maybe, maybe not. We don't really fully know. But the way that the, the officer responded was not appropriate. It was not cool. You know, schools don't seem to give a shit about what students might be going through or any of that. There isn't enough counseling in schools anymore. And as far as I'm concerned, too, you know, when it comes to manners and ways of treating people, I remember still a little bit of that being left in public schools when I was, uh, you know, in K through 12. I remember just a little bit of it left, but as I was getting closer to the end of high school, that was going away. We got these religious people saying, oh, see, it's because they took prayer out of schools. Well, I'm going, no, it's because they, they took any sense of morality out of schools, of teaching any sort of morals at all. Of course, schools are starting to, to push more forth more of a feminist sort of morality thing, and that's kind of fucked up too. That has, that's almost the same thing as religious morals. 
Um, but people can't come together and say, what are these things that we think should be taught in schools when it comes to that? We won't even, we won't even talk about it. You know, when it comes to behavior, this won't, this will not get discussed. Except, except for saying, well, she should have obeyed orders. You know, nothing that has to do with people treating each other decently. No, no behavioral things about that. Nothing about manners. No, it's, you should obey orders. No morals, nothing about behavior, but let's promote totalitarianism while complaining about any other group that says totalitarian supporting things. Okay, how about, okay, how about the way that men are expected to hide their emotions? How about a lot of the stuff that the expectations that are put on to men that a lot of the feminists will complain about. That, you know, some even the more radical feminists will talk about, hey, look at all this crap that's put on to men. None of it's listened to because, well, it's coming from a feminist. And the only thing that will get complained about is how men are expected to be the breadwinners. Okay, well, that's true. Men are expected to be the breadwinners. But the th some what go comes with that whole thing is this, this machoistic sort of mindset. That won't get talked about. You know, I've talked before about when I've been when I've been involved in some hangouts where people are doing kind of similar things to the Drunken Peasants show, you know, this had, uh, it had Mr. D. Wayne, sketchy white dude, who I, I hope, I really hope, if you don't know about uh, stuff that's going on with sketchy white dude, um, he's really run into some financial problems. He's saying, look, I, I know that I've, I've caused my own, I should have planned better. But sketchy white dude really needs some help. Um, look around YouTube if you don't know about it already, and you'll be able to find links to a uh, GoFundMe thing for him. You know, if you can if you can help him with with just like a, just even a few dollars, you know, it, it, it any little bit helps. Um, anyway, this hangout had you know, uh, D Wayne, sketchy white dude a guy with a really long goatee and then there was someone else and they were all um they were taking somewhat some feminist video and were you know trying to pwn her on everything that she said and when it, they started talking about you know guys hiding their emotions they started making fun of us wait a minute wait a minute and this was in text on the side chat wait a minute this this isn't right what you're saying isn't right. She's she is right about this stuff. What she's saying right here. And eventually, I got them to say, "Well, okay, I guess you're right." You know, people have to stop to think. Oh, not everything that some of these people are are saying is bullshit. There there are some valid things. Um. How about when it comes to online bullying? people being harassed online, whether it's in social media or in games or anything like that. Now, yes, men, you know, you look at the stats, men are harassed in that way more than women. But does that make it right? Does that make it okay? Does that mean we shouldn't talk about this stuff? Oh, well, grow a thicker skin. We're not fucking in, we're not we're not in elementary school on, on a fucking big toy. We shouldn't have to deal with that shit 
once we get out of elementary school. You know, we sh there should be some sort of standards of decency that we should at least try to go for. And those that aren't going for that, we, we, we can't complain about that? You know, let's just complain. Let's just be angry that people are bringing this stuff up in the first place. You know, if, if you don't think anything should be done about any of that, can you claim to be for social justice? You know, mental abuse can take a lot longer, can take a lot longer to heal than physical abuse. Sometimes mental abuse never gets healed. Never, never, people, some people never recover from the stuff. But we should disinclude things that are online? Well, because it's online. What, so since it's online means there's, there's no, nothing is out of bounds unless someone actually has death threats. Nothing is out of line. Nothing is out of bounds. Hate builds on hate builds on hate. If you try to fight hate with hate, it's like trying to fight fire with fire. All you're going to do is create more fire. There has to be something around that spreads love, no matter how cheesy and stupid and very hippie that sounds. We have to do something to spread love. We have to, or these fires are just going to get bigger and bigger, and then we're going to wonder how the hell things got so nasty. We have to make an effort to basically be that fire hose. We have to make an effort to be that fire extinguisher. We have to make an effort. And if we're not making a decent effort on this, what the fuck are we doing? That's my point. Take it or leave it.